relational database relationships, one to one, one to many, many to many. So in this video, we're gonna have an overview of the three types of relationships we look at for databases in the IPT course. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the movie rental system database that we've looked in a previous activity. Okay, and as you can see there, I've got the entities of member, rental and movie from that actual uh, database that we've looked at before. But I've also included driver's license here too, just to show um, another type of relationship as well. So hopefully I can illustrate all three types of relationships in this video. So firstly is driver's license, okay? And we've got all details about a person's driver's details. And this is being used here in Logic to verify a member's details, okay? So we can see that they're authentic, okay? That's my justification for using the entity. Really, I'm just using it here so I can illustrate the, one of the actual relationships, okay? So secondly is the member. And as I said, we're gonna be justifying their details with their driver's license. And you got all their details so that they can be referred to by the system and be eligible to rent movies from the system. We've got rental, allowing actual members a rent to be recorded on the system every time they rent a movie. And then finally, movie details. Okay, the movies they are renting from the system. So these are the four entities we're gonna be using here to illustrate the three different type of relationships of one-to-one, one-to-many, -one, one -many, and many-to-many. -many. So firstly, we're gonna look at the primary and foreign keys uh, in order to establish our relationships. So the first one is a one-to-one -one relationship between member and driver's license. Every member has one driver's license, okay, that they are gonna to use to verify themselves. And one driver's license is only gonna be used to validate one member, okay? So it is one-to-one, -one. the records between each other only correlate with one another between those two entities. Next is member and rental. And that is a one-to-many relationship. One member can make many rentals, but every rental only relates to one member. And then finally is between movie and rental. And this is a many to many relationship. And in order to do that, once again, we need a junction. Okay, and that junction has two foreign keys within it. Okay, which are both primary keys of each entity involved here. So they are a many to many relationship as one movie can refer to multiple rentals and every rental can refer to multiple movies in order to establish that relationship. So we've said the relationships we've shown them in a schematic design, but let's have a look at what those relationships actually look like when we're referring to records, because these are all based on records referring to each other. So firstly is the one-to-one -one relationship, where a single record in one entity is only referencing a single record in another entity. And that same record obviously is only referencing it in return. So let's look at members and driver's licenses. So between member and driver's license, okay, member ID two is only referencing driver ID two and member ID six is only referencing driver ID six, okay? It only references one record in the opposing entity. On the flip side of that, of driver's licenses to members, it's exactly the same, okay? Driver's ID two is only doing member ID two, driver ID six is only doing member ID two. So it's exactly the same going both ways, one record in one only references one in the other, okay? Exactly the same way it is. It is a simple uh, relationship, okay? One record only referencing one other record. Next is the one-to-many relationship or the many-to-one relationship, okay? Where a single record in one entity may reference multiple records in another entity, though within the other entity, the records may only reference a single record in the initial entity. So as we've already stated, member to rentals, okay, is a one-to-many relationship. Okay, so one member, okay, member ID two, might make multiple rentals. So rental ID two and rental ID six might both refer to member ID two, okay? One person has made two separate rentals, okay? Another example is member ID three. They might have done the rental ID three and rental ID four and rental ID five. Okay, so those three records refer to that one specific member, okay? But on the flip side of that, when going rentals back to members, Okay, we know that rental ID 2 only refers to member ID 2. It doesn't refer to any other member because only one rental can be made by one member. And it's the same with rental ID 2. It only references member ID 2. Okay, so that justification. So it can only represent one record in that entity, but the member entity can reference multiple records in the rental entity. Okay, so that's what we've got to understand with a one-to-many relationship. Finally, we have the many-to-many -many relationship. And as we've already said, movies to rentals was our many-to-many -many relationship. So movie ID two might be used in rental ID two and rental ID six, okay? And movie ID three may be used in rental ID three and rental ID four, 
and rental ID 5. Okay, so it is going from the movies to the rentals, one to many. But we've said it's exactly the same on the flip side, okay, in rental IDs the movie. And this is why we had to have the junction. So going back the exact opposite way, rental ID 2, okay, might have involved movie ID 2 and movie ID 3. Both those movies were rented during that rental. And rental ID 3 could reference movie ID 2 and movie ID 3 as well. Okay, exactly the same, but also movie ID 4 and movie ID 5. Okay, so both entities can reference multiple records in the other entity, thus establishing their many-to-many -many relationship. So I hope this video has given you understanding of relational database relationships, a one-to-one -one relationship where one record in one entity can only reference one record in another entity, a one-to-many relationship where one record in one entity can reference many records in another entity, but on the flip side, that other entity's records can only reference one record in, in the initial entity, and then finally, the many-to-many -many relationship where one record in one entity can reference multiple records in the other entity, and the records in the other entity can do exactly the same. They can reference multiple records back. So I hope this helps clear that up to you based on records in a relational database.